It's Monday, August 21st. Uh, it's a short class for those of you who are home dead uh, because, you know, NWA and fun stuff like that. Let's see what we get through for today. IXL, we'll talk about in a moment. Your pictures are in the hallway out yonder. If you look to the left, they're on the wall between Mrs. Kearns and Mrs. Baker. Miss, Mr. Baker, not Mrs. Baker. She's back at the other school. Mr. Baker. Uh, you guys are in the middle because I did first period all the way to the left. Seventh period all the way to the right, so you guys are middling this. And then, if you're on Remind, which in theory all of you are, I sent this schedule out to you yesterday. It was the schedule for today. It is also the schedule for tomorrow. And so again, it will be the exact same thing both days, except tomorrow you get no Wea math, which is like English, but not as fun. And as far as I excel, was this the class period where the Wi-Fi died? Yes. Yes. I I'm sorry. I watched it. And so with that one, if you have already turned it in, I have already graded it. And so you already have your 7 out of 5. If you get it turned in by Wednesday, you'll get a 6 out of 5. If you get it turned in by Friday, it's a 5 out of 5. If you turn it in after Friday, it drops you down to a 3 out of 5, and I charge you 3 B points. So hopefully you'll have this week to get it done so we can help you out. Were there any questions as far as the ISL went that I can help okay. aside from the fact that Wi-Fi hates you? I mean, I don't hate you. My name's not Wi-Fi. Are you raising your hand, Superborn? What's up? There's some reason ISL was going to need third grade stuff. Well, hopefully that makes it easy. Um, and then you get better. So, good stuff. All right. I am now posting every Monday this piece of paper for you guys, yours is right here, where it says Senko. And so every Monday, I will be posting your current grade B points and most recent scores on assignments. It is not done by your name, it is done by your student ID. This is an example one, if you take a look at it. And so up there, if you were to look at yours here, there are no names there. It's just your six-digit ID. The one that you use for lunch, it's also the one we're going to use for the library on Wednesday. And it's that same number you've had since you were in kindergarten. You look on there, you're going to find your grades right now is for the picture last week and then for your notebook last week. And then over here, this last one is your current grade in class. Most of you, it's a 100%. If you had your notebook last week and you brought your picture last week, you've got 100% A+, plus flex, flex, go you. If you did not bring your picture last week, it's not that because I don't have picture from you. Or if you didn't have notebook or something like that, your grade is lower than an A+. Plus. And so I will update this every Monday. I never let your grades go longer than that. If you turn something in, I grade it by the weekend, it gets posted by Monday. So you will always know by then. And then here, and the blue on here, it's not blue on here, is going to be your current B points. And I update these every weekend, and I post your B points for you. Right now, most of you are at 16, because you started with 15, went all last week without losing a point, and went up to 16. Some of you gained some points last week, so you're higher than that. Some of you lost points last week, and you are lower than that. But you can always check on a Monday to see what it says. Anything you do on Monday through Friday is not on there. So even though this says 16, if in the middle of class, Napora just turns around and smacks Ryan, and I'm like, I'm going to charge you points, and then Napora goes to look over here, and she's like, I still have 16 points. N no, you don't. It just hasn't been updated until the next Monday. And then you come back in, and the floor is like, ah, don't have 16 points, and Joyce's. And they come back to haunt you. So hopefully that helps you on that part. Yeah. Over here, I have updated the calendar for you with what's going on this week. No homework today, because this is a short class period. Hopefully, we have homework tomorrow, but it's easy. And then homework later this week, also super easy. I've not gotten to the hard homework until later. We do have a quiz on Friday, which is going to be your first quiz grade, which in theory should be easy if you've been here paying attention or dead. And then Wednesday, we get to go to uh, the library, plus some other things to help you guys out from there. Hey. Deborah, um, how come it says Thursday library? Well, that's because I'm dumb and made a mistake. 
What's important is that I was right and that student is wrong and she's dead now. <laughs> you know what? This is school. We don't need truth and facts. Whatever I say is mostly right. All right. Any other questions aside from mistakes I may or may not have made? Okay. We're good to go. Uh, nicknames, as we pointed out, some of our nicknames are already being created and figured out how they're going to taunt you forever and ever and ever with the choices that you have made. And then I will continue to figure out things from there. All right. Learning time! I mean, kind of learning time. You have a notebook! Does anyone not have this information on the outside, aside from Ian, who ate a notebook and was going to spend three B points to buy a new one? Do you have a dollar? If you bring me a dollar, then I can give you your B points back. I'll try harder next time. <laughs> do you need a sharpie or do you have one? Did you mumble at me? Was that a you need one? You need some. Stella, like I would have hit you with something that I threw. That's ridiculous. All right, so then you're going to write that information and then hopefully catch back up to us. I mean, charge Ian points. If you bring me that, I will give you your points back. Until then, you have spent the three points to buy a thing. So the rest of you are good. Now, open up notebook. So we are looking at that first page. And what is on the first page? Good job. So we're good to go with X. That is a lot of bad, bad no-nos. Then we turned. Next page. There we go. Welcome to Chang. And our table of contents is set up, correct? How many table of contents do we have? Three. Five. Five. Well, that was quite the variety of numbers. So this is one table of contents. And then we turn the page. Oh, we should have a second table of contents. Okay. So we're working on our second table of contents yeah. now. Yeah. Same exact thing. Yep. The first table of contents, second table of contents, and a kid who claimed he was going to get all of this done at home. But we're not going to say names out loud. We're just going to judge. While you're working, uh, Mr. Shelley and I are going to come around to see if we can help you. I will carry my kid helping stick. He will carry a smile. It just depends on which one of us gets to you first. Mm -hmm. Show me your evidence. What if I take ah, it? All right. And this kid's still working. And what if I take it? Hurry. What would you do if I took it? Your R, the word number, and your table of time is spelled. I'm going to try to do this. Here's the first one. Uh -huh. And now we're working on the second one. But apparently you passed out before writing table of is homework, table of time is spelled. I just want to know what you have to write. Well, technically it's two, because this is one table sometimes. Okay. Yes. What's up? Yeah. Oh, yeah, but don't worry. I'm not going to see you. 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 I'm not going to see uh-huh. Ooh, pow pow face. Now, to make young Stella happy, because Stella's happiness is important to all of us. You've got first one, second one, 
Then you turn the page, what? and your third one. What? Turn into it. I know, Emery. That's 17 words. It could kill a child. It's like, there's like nine. See, we're going to do one for each nine weeks. So we're going to do three of them up there to just help you out. I, I answer my question. Wait, I do that sometimes. I thought it was three or seven. I don't know which one. <laughs> Or well, nine, four, nine yeah, there's nobody there. There are, there's most kids are too dumb to know that. So I do both. Uh, <laughs> so we do five. So we're in. <laughs> nine. Right? We do so nine. so oh, she so said so four, nine weeks, and you said five. What's are we just difference? like saying random numbers that we like? No. There's five corners, right? Uh -huh. Do you know what the word quarter means? <laughs> what? Do you know what the word quarter means? No. Nope. Um, I don't think I mean, we do. Right, because how much of a dollar is that? One fourth. I don't think they know because they're stupid. Oh. Oh, I'm so jealous of your math teachers. Wait, so the bar we do is three if there's only two? Because I don't trust most kids to be able to hold on to this till the end of the year. And so most of you will end up losing it before we get to the fourth nine weeks. And did you see how much Emery freaked out about just doing well, three? Paper. If I had Emery do a fourth one, she would pass out and hit the ground. My paper got wet. It happens sometimes. Stop drilling. Nabora? Three, four, five, or seven. <laughs> I apologize. That's my fault for not putting it in giant letters that I can make fun of you while I point at while That's staring at you. three times. So but you, there's four, you said. Correct. Oh, because you stopped listening when I was explaining it to the other kid. No, I was trying to think. It takes that much energy. It's going to be a long year. Ow. Wait, I saw another answer. Three sets of table of contents. You are writing the word homework three times and bell work three times. Okay. Even if you're going to be acres and you're going to try to write them all on the same page, that's not the way it works either. Adorable blinking doesn't change it. third table of contents. It should be blank. So you should have table of contents, blank. So now, after these two pages, we are going to put little baby X's, not big boy X's or big girl X's, a little baby X and a little baby X, just in the bottom corner. Little baby X, little baby X. These are called idiot overrun pages. This is for when you make a mistake in your book and you need blank pages to fix it. As we fill it up, I will say, oh, you've messed up your notebook. Now you've got to fix it. And I'll go, do you have your idiot overrun pages? And you go, I do. And we're going to use these. Some of you struggle more than others. You may want to turn the page and put two more X's on them. Because you look in the mirror and go, that kid's special. And you realize that some more X's may be needed. Some of you may need to turn the page again and be like, oh, yeah, I know this kid. If you get to the point where half your notebook is X's, we have a problem. And 
and you're like, you don't know me. And I'm like, I don't think I want to. So now you've done your X's, turn to your page, past the X's. And we are going to put page numbers on there. So here's page numbers are going to go in the bottom outside corners. So you're going to page one down here. Are we writing a book? And page two is going to all you're doing right now is a one and a two, Napora. You worry about freaking out later. You're just writing a one and a two. We're going to get there. Again, I don't want Emery passing out. Turn to the next page. You're now going to do a three and a four. Wait, did I do this right? Starting to scare me already. Do we do a five and a six? One and a three. Do we do a five and a six? Hello? One. Oh, you don't print it. No, no, you don't. Do That's how five? page numbers work. Do we do Someday five you guys six? should open a book and then go to three and four. To do turn four, the page. Five and six? See? Five and six. You're going to number up to 30. What? What? Okay, 40. Oh we can keep negotiating. Eventually, we're going to do the whole book. I thought 30 was a good compromise to keep Emory alive. Uh huh. That's what a book is. I'm coming around to make sure we're not messing up the numbering process. No, you can stop before. you've done this part so far. No. Now, turn back to page one. You will know it's page one. Because it says page one. Well, those of you who are behind, learn to go faster. Go faster. This is why God gave you fingers, so that you can figure out what number you're on. Well, then you have to use your teeth. On page one, again, this is where you have page one and page two. We are going to write a big H, H at the top of page one. If you're not sure how to do that, write the word hula blue, but stop after the first letter. Then on the other one, you're going to write a B, bigger a boo, and then just stop after the first letter. The H stands for? And the B stands for? Turn the page. Do the same thing for three and four. We're going to do this up to page 10. With H is on the left, B is on the right. Those of you who struggled with numbers, I can come around to make sure that we're doing all right with our H's and B's after that previous struggle we may or may not have had. Wait, to what number? 10. OK, done. Apparently, Bye. tomorrow we will start with our first <laughs> bell work. Take off. Go off. Are you just leaving while I'm still talking? Yeah. Can we not train Emery what's going to happen when you... And you guys have failed Emery? No one is trying to fill her heart with love? No. Or Gia? Yeah. 